five hunger pains with Jill Barrio driving was a winner here on Sunday 155 and three great mile Mark Hamill was in the bike and they're lining up now behind that Metro home building center starting gate let's go back upstairs to Vance Cameron oh rail out gonna fool ya you bet I'm a good one rockin indie winter blast hunger pangs pictonian storm a half a dozen noses up on the gate here it's race eight top of the stretch they're approaching a start off stride before the start too you bet I'm a good one there they go, off and pacing, winter blast from the center, gonna fool you on the rail, third to the turn, that's rockin' Indy. Racing from fourth, that's Hunger Pangs, away fifth is, you bet I'm a good one, Pictonian Storm will trail. Winter Blast will lead them early, in line to the Blue Knight, Jason Hughes are going to the quarter. Racing second is gonna fool you, now third up the rail, that's Rockin' Indy. Hunger Pangs along the inside, fourth, you bet I'm a good one is fifth, and the trailer is Pictonian Storm. Winter Blast is in trouble, and Jason Hughes is taking him to the outside and pulling him off as they pass by the quarter mile in 30 and 2. Now the leader gonna fool you. Here comes Hunger Pangs up and after her. Third up the rail as they move off the turn is Rockin' Indy. Coming to the outside, fourth, you bet I'm a good one. Now the trailer in fifth as they race through the stretch. That is Pictonian Storm. They're halfway home and it's gonna fool you for David Dowling, the midway point leader. From the outside, second is Hunger Pangs. Third up the rail, that's Rockin' Indy. They arrive at the opening half mile in 101 and 1. Pretty comfortable for this group. Over to the 5 H pole and it's going to fool you. And the tempo starts to pick up. From the outside is Hunger Pangs. Coming third, you bet I'm a good one. On the rail, fourth is Rockin' Indy. Pictonian Storm is fifth. And Winter Blast did pull up. I mean, they're rocking and they're rolling now. Going to fool you, the leader up the rail. To her outside, that's Hunger Pangs. Now just a half a length away, the three quarters in one thirty and two down to an eighth of a mile left to go. Go not pull you on the rail. Hunger pangs trying to wear her down. Racing third, you bet I'm a good one. Up the inside, rock and indy. Set the camera up. Here's the five of them across the track. Hunger pangs wins. Then Pictonian Storm and gonna fool you, but we're gonna need pictures. Time for the mile in one. 59 and 3. All right, here's a look at the slow-mo. What a stretch drive this is going to be in the eighth race here tonight at Red Shore Summerside. Hunger, Pains, and Jill's Berry. Oh, boy, they put in a big trip here tonight. They are out and going early, Rocky, and uh, that's back-to-back -back scores. Yeah, Winter Blast got to the quarter in 30-2 and two and then pulled up. Something happened. Must have broken gear. And then Jill basically popped the po popped the pocket and come first up here with Hunger, Pains. A half and 101-1. One, and one. David Dowling was cutting it with Gunna Fulia. Hunger Pains come first over and just wears them down here. Great gutsy effort. That's two in a row for Hunger Pains. Gets the job done. Look at Pictonian Storm flying in the end of it here. Gets up for second. And Gunna Fulia holds on for third. We have a 5-6-1-2 unofficially here in race eight. We'll see the winning connections in the Woodmere Standard Bridge Winter Circle next. Hunger pains needed every inch of the racetrack to get there, but Jill Barry oh, got him there, and now he takes him to the winner's circle. Hunger pains Bay Pacing Gelding 6 by Pang Shui. From the Yen Example Dam, R.E.'s Miss Jen. Owned by Suzanne McKeegan of Albert Bridge, Nova Scotia. 
Trained by Blaine McKenna. Jill Barrio doubles up. Time for the mile in 159 and 3. Hunger pangs in the eighth. 